Pleasure, honest. Thank you for everything. Thanks for the pleasure. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, And for Frank Stella, Malden native, we thank you for creating the art that helped inspire dazzling walk time directional signs. Hey, one more. Thank you. Mr. Stella, we can't thank you enough for giving us permission to use your art on these signs. And uh, we just love how our designer, uh, Designs by Shannon, our graphic designer. We love what she did with your work and mm -hmm. the colors and the typography. We love how she did it, and we're glad you're pleased as well. Yeah, it came out pretty nice. Right? Yeah. Also, so appreciate how gracious you were when I first got in touch with your staff about this idea, and um, I, I thought it was so generous and welcoming of you to allow your hometown to... Um, share your work in this way to well, promote yeah, walking yeah it's true it's the hometown but it was my family's hometown and i never knew anything else so it it the, i don't know how deep the roots go but a couple of generations anyway mm -hmm. so um it, it was okay i mean i still everything for me focused around our home and the library <laughs> that oh, was about yes. it yes yeah. yes tell us about your experiences with the library well, we went all. They used to read to us when uh, on Saturday mornings. <laughs> so we all, when we were quite young, went to the library on Saturday mornings, and then it got to be the library is quite extensive, and it's, um, you know, it's a very important architectural building, being by H. H. Richardson, but it's quite a unique building. But anyway, it has a very by somehow um, serendipity. It has a very big art gallery and it was quite interesting and um, <clears throat> I don't know how my father did it but I had an exhibition uh, when I first got out of college in uh, at Oberlin College and somehow he arranged to have the exhibition go to the Malden Public Library and I don't think they had any idea of what it was because in order these crates arrived and they couldn't get them in the library or do anything and they had to take the doors off the library in order off the doors in order to get them in the gallery. But anyway, it was fun. And then uh, someone pointed out to me, well, I was there, and then my mother had a show there. Uh, actually, seems not so long ago, and, and she had her exhibition there. So actually, the families had two exhibitions in H.H. H. Richardson's gallery, which is uh, probably a family record of some sort. I bet it is. I bet it is. And uh, I've seen your mother's paintings there mm -hmm. uh, still today. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, any any other memories of Malden growing up that you could share with us? Well, some of them I don't deserve to be shared, but I, it was it was fun. We did a lot of, uh, you know, as a as a young boy, we spent a lot of time. Uh, the city was a little more open then, and uh, access to the railroad tracks and the. And what you now call the NCIS yes. walkway or something like yeah. that. We used to prowl that like stray cats. So uh, <laughs> now it's a, and now it's a walkway. It used to be, uh, and kids were still st swimming in the creek when I was young. Whoa. But I don't know how they got the oil off them. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, they've cleaned that up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it'll never be too clean. Don't worry. <laughs> It's not quite swimmable yet, but they are boating in it. Uh -huh. well, that's amazing, yeah. yeah. But our family came from my, uh, they all came from Edgeworth, and uh, my father, mother just sort of made do and uh, had a longshoreman for a husband. And my mother's family, uh, they all, all, and still, if they were still, all worked at Converse. Oh, okay. And they were very lucky, actually, because they were indentured servants. They were living in Brazil. 
and Converse uh, took them out of Manaus and brought them to work in the factory in Waltham. And then they eventually moved um, to... They had been in, in Brazil and they spoke Portuguese, actually. They'd been there for six years, but they still hadn't paid for their transportation. Wow. And they owed this, the company food store quite a bit of money. Wow. But Converse bought their contract. That is an amazing story. That yeah, was quite typical, though. Yeah. In the rubber industry. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I understand Malvern was quite, uh, quite the place at the industry, with the industry that was there at the time. Yeah, the one I remember most, I don't know why, because of the sound of it, was Cutacura. Oh, <laughs> Is yeah. Cutacura still, it's probably gone now, right? No, the building's still the there. The building's there, that's a beautiful a, little building. Yeah. yeah, they've saved the building, and uh -huh. it's a uh, housing. Uh -huh. uh, it's a uh, senior housing uh, place now. Yeah, well, we used to walk all the time from, basically, from Bell Rock Park to Edgeworth across the bridge, and um, I don't remember what street that is, but anyway. We would walk. Uh, Med Medford Street? Yeah, right across, walk right across, yeah. So I spent a lot of time walking across the bridge. Well, and now you're encouraging more walking in Malden, so that's, <laughs> it comes all around, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you taking the time to come be with us today and share this uh -huh. award. It's so. been very nice to be back. Yeah. Thank you. It's one thing to promote walkability, but then to bring in someone like Frank Stella, I mean, what mm -hmm. else can really be said? Mm -hmm. um, Frank is... <laughs> you know, to say it, to what Frank means to Malden, he could have very easily, many years ago, just said, you know, that was a place where I started and I've kind of moved on and that's in the past and this is in the future. So. For him to take the time to work with uh, Sharon and the com committee to come up with these wayfinding signs uh, says a lot about who Frank is and who he'll, what he'll always mean to the city of Malden. And I think he deserves a big round of applause. spill any paint on it. <laughs> but uh, um, I'm very happy uh, to be part of it, actually. And uh, I know Malden. Uh, I walked it a lot. And uh, actually, Malden has one big advantage. It's not that big. Anybody can walk it. <laughs> Except probably me, with the two titanium knees and a titanium hip. <laughs> so my uh, days of walkability are somewhat limited. But anyway, I, I think I could at least go down the hill uh, from <clears throat> my grammar school at uh, Belmont Grammar School. And it's a, a little bit bittersweet to me that both Sharon and the mayor are living in my grade school room. <laughs> I liked them when I was there, and it was quite a bit of fun. I mean, uh, my second grade room was really great. And my fourth grade room had a view. And by the time I got to the back side, the colder side, uh, the fifth and sixth grade, it wasn't that great. But we had art teachers that would come in when there were holidays. And so I learned to, I actually, I never learned to do it. But I was instructed on how to draw turkeys, <laughs> reindeer, and Easter bunnies. <laughs> but it was still pretty great. And, uh, the hill, it, um, it's a beautiful thing on the side of the hill, and I didn't live very far down, which I could walk up and down the hill to Main Street and uh, Bell Rock Park right across the street. And then there was a very short walk across there, uh, across Medford Street and over the creek, over the bridge, and there used to be tankers in there when I went across. And um, 
into Edgeworth where all of my uh, grandparents lived. So I, I trekked it pretty much, uh, at least east and west. Uh, and so I think that uh, actually it's quite nice and I really enjoyed this and I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. All right, all right.